Hello there, Internet. It's Mogwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And today, our daddies are going fishing. And that, that actually, that sounded way better in my, <laughs> that sounded awful. What I mean by daddies is Darius and Thresh, you know. Uh, actually, Shermie likes to call them that, so I, I took a book from, or I, I took a, a quote from the book, I guess, English. So, yeah, basically what I mean by this is uh, both champions do... Fishing, really, like they, they kind of function in a similar way. Uh, I'm, I'm mostly referencing League of Legends here. We got Thresh with his hook, which he uses to capture his preys and put him in the lantern. As usual, you know, douchebag Thresh things, nothing new there. And Darius now kind of does a similar action, at least in League of Legends. I know that that's how it works because Apprehend, which is one of his abilities in League of Legends, has been turned into a signature spell in the uh, most recent Call of the Mountain expansion. It says, stun an enemy if you have a Darius, rally. Rally effects are what's really keeping mid-range decks relevant in this meta, as we are able to punish the uh, ramp strategies by threatening them with multiple attacks. That's the idea, right? Because if you look at this deck, half of it screams aggro. Like we are technically an aggro deck. We do have an early game that is very uh, similar to that of They Who Endure, as we have a full set of Ravenous Butcher with Bark Beast, and then we have one drop such as Hotless Aristocrat and Warden's Sprite. As we curve out into two mana, we see Curse Keeper, which is perhaps the most essential follower in this deck as it enables really strong tempo plays with Ravenous Butcher and of course the Blighted Caretaker. Blighted Caretaker also being one of the most efficient ways within Shadow Owls to level up Thresh as we are able to trigger three deaths off her alone at the very least with the saplings potentially trading into other units and killing them off too which allows us to work really really well for the level up on Thresh and we want to level up Thresh in this deck quite simply to pull out a Darius. We also want to deal as much damage to the opposing Nexus and as quickly as possible so that if we get them to 10 or lower, if we do pull Th uh, Darius out of out through Thresh, or if we play him directly from our hand as well, and we can do that too, you know, we can play fair as well, we uh, can get the level up immediately, right? That's easier said than done because uh, good players tend to defend as much as they can or keep their Nexus above 10 when facing a Darius deck, as there is a very big difference between regular Darius and leveled up pissed off Darius. As you guys can see, that 10 attack with Overwhelm is just purely overwhelming and a very lethal combination with Atrocity, which is the reason why we're mixing Darius with Shadow Owls to begin with. I love playing Darius with Thresh. I've showcased this archetype before. It's never really amounted to something great. Uh, I did overvalue the deck back in the day because I had an amazing win streak with it for like a couple of days, but then I started facing some more uh, rough matchups and uh, ultimately that's like the only time that I really shared the deck with these two together. And I'm really looking to get back into it, then Apprehend is the main reason why we are here. Uh, we on top of that have cards like Stalking Shadows, which allow us to search for stuff like Doom Beast, or make sure that we get the Curse Keeper for Blighted Caretaker. This card like really helps us find the key component in uh, our otherwise very synergy, or synergy fueled sort of uh, early game lineup, English. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm very like conscious of, of you know, when I slip up and when I, when I uh, you know, make a grammatical error and stuff. So sorry if I become a little bit annoying with the whole English thing. It's just kind of like my own automatic way of correcting myself. But I, I do know that I repeat it a lot. But yeah, English is not my main language. And sometimes I mess it up and I uh, just want to let you guys know that I, I try. At least, you know, I, I try. Hopefully my narrations are not that hard to watch because of it. Regardless, uh, we have, like I said, a very strong early game. We go wide and we try to get the opposing next down to 10, and then we pull Darius out and we Atrocity for the kill. Apprehend gives us really strong game against more uh, slower based control decks like Ramp, for example, which are very prevalent in this meta. We have like a very aggressive slash control meta right now. Uh, uh, aggressive slash Ramp, I, I would go with rather. And uh, Rally effects are really, really strong and are what are keeping mid-range decks somewhat relevant in my opinion. And Apprehend is a very overlooked card. It is a very, very strong effect. It's basically Relentless Pursuit on steroids. If you have Darius on the board, you're rallying and you're also eliminating a blocker, which is just amazing, right? Obviously, if you don't have Darius on the board, it's like a two mana Guile, which is not the greatest thing, but still not a completely useless effect as it is still a very, very cheap stun play. And that's the idea here though. We, we have a deck that's emphasized on getting Darius on the board, whether we play him from hand or we get him out through Thresh. 
we have the ability to rather consistently pull Darius onto the field in the late game. And therefore, uh, we justify a full set of apprehend, which just allows us to plow through the opponent's defenses and uh, really capitalize on them if they tap out, uh, thinking that they are safe. Especially being able to threaten a rally with just two mana is a very big power play. And that's why I really, really like this deck. And I feel it has a lot of potential in this meta. And I'm very excited to share the games that I got uh, for you guys today as I took them from my stream. As I've been playing this deck for a while now, but I've never actually like, I haven't gotten to record a live session with it. But I played it a lot on my Twitch because I really uh, enjoy it. And I've been perfecting it as well. And I'm very happy with the end result right here. I like the one off of Decisive Maneuver. It may seem like a little bit random, but it actually does put in the work, especially with Darius and the Overwhelm. And the fact that we can spread out really well with cards like Blighted Caretaker, we can pump our saplings with it as well. Noxian Fervor helps us uh, deal direct damage or potentially level up Thresh as well by killing two units with one card. And uh, I mentioned prior, Doom Beast also helps us get them low on health so that we can level up Darius while also keeping us alive against opposing aggressive decks. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the deck list right there. Very, very fun to play. I think you guys will enjoy the games that I got for you. Let me know what you think. And that's basically it. Long live Apprehend. I'm honestly like one of my favorite cards from the set, believe it or not. And uh, I really think uh, this card should be looked at and respected more because I think rally, any card that provides you with the potential to rally is already a very, very powerful card, in my opinion. I think very highly of this mechanic and I think up to this day, it's still slightly underestimated and uh, it really just wins you so many games, man. This kind of play is really nice and I like the fact that they made Darius a more interesting champion because of the inclusion of cards like this, so... Yeah, I'm going to stop talking, have a soul day, enjoy the games, subscribe and leave a like, all that stuff. It's free, free is good, it helps out, and self-promotion over. Have a good one, and I'll see you tomorrow. And I, I paid due for that. Let's drop Noxian for over here. Let's keep, uh, let's drop Doom Beast as well. I want to keep the Thresh, but I want to have a, I want to see if I can have access to a bit of an earlier curve. Curse Keeper is also really neat. Nothing left when I'm done. I mean, we're unfortunately very, very vulnerable here. Coming in hot. But we're gonna see if we can get a, a surprise kill with Darius next turn. We'll see if we have the opening though, because he's, he's down to two cards, okay. <laughs> I 
I have to go Darius here. I have my orders. I salute you. So fast. Go somewhere. Empires are built upon action. Move. I need him to not top deck. Um, I'm not sure what he can top deck, like a, a decimate. So it, it was the best play. It definitely was the best play. Like I, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm gonna keep the curse keeper. I'm gonna drop the apprehend for now. Doom beast is decent, but I would rather find stuff like blighted caretaker or butcher. Shoutouts to the boys. This could be a really nice uh, opener for me here. Depends on what opponent, my opponent does. I mean, I can trade that for that here. I'll trade these two. Definitely gonna work to prevent. I'm also gonna like m minimize the make it rain here. Take down that. Chains! 
They never stop! Definitely do want to go for Glimpse here. So he's progressed his level up one. We're gonna work for a Darius here. We're gonna start dealing damage. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna play Yeti Yearling first. I have to find a turn to like set up the Bark Beast properly. So I'm, I'm gonna preserve this as, like my last play. This angry for action. Lock the door. Lock the doors. I definitely do want to play. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. I have my orders. Darius. A chill in the air. Nani? Cowards, the lot of you. We know the value of coin. Woohoo! I'll blow up the pieces! All right. Leaping into action. Come at me, bro. I'm gonna see if I can play the Bark Beast here. You own what you take. You and me. Let's go. What's your wager? So next turn, four, seven, eight mana, which means I can have a total of nine mana available to me, which is, does allow me to rekindler and uh, apprehend, even if I do. My so there's no real reason not to do this. Because I could top pick a butcher. This also protects me against a, a Riptide Rex. Let's do this. Stand and fight. Step away, 
coward. I refuse! One candle for every sun. Riptide Rex still hits us really hard, but uh, we could survive. No, we don't. We don't. GG. Hmm. Alright, it's Lee Sin's number one fan, it seems. Stun effects are really powerful in this matchup against this. I'm gonna keep one glimpse. As uh, seeing Blighted Caretaker in my opener is always really neat, especially when I have the first attack, which means that I, I get to attack on turn three as well. Because of the nature of the matchup, I'm going to prioritize Warden Spray over Aristocrat because I don't really think I need uh, a chump blocker as much as I do need something that can give me neat stuff. I like neat stuff. Where are you? I'm gonna go for a bloody caretaker just to have a big hit on my opponent. Oh, I spoil. Because uh, this region combination can't really deal with a spread out board state like this. There's no avalanche, there's no withering whale, there's no make it rain. There are very, very few things that can punish me here. And uh, getting my opponent down to 11. It's something Papa Darius is definitely going to appreciate. I haven't seen you in a while! Looking into the future, I see purple. I mean Yeah. No. Nine. When I got I got I got a nice cheeky combo here, boy. The sharks are coming. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Okay, that turned out pretty well. So down to eight, which means we get to level up Darius. Spilled paint is just accidental art. Ah, fuck. You cheeky you. I'm gonna play Bark Beast first. 
see what my opponent does. Master yourself, master your enemy. Correct assault. He needs four spells to level up. All right. I will not. Drinking my juice, drinking my juice. Conflict is all in the mind. Drinking my juice, drinking my juice. Back. I'll see this through. Arigato gozaimasu. As the dragon will. I attack like this, bring those two, they block like that. I don't have lethals. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate. Ready yourself. Free of thought, their heart beats quick. Is there any way we can generate? Like he could actually kill me here if he uh, if he's able to. To get this guy's attack up to 10. Uh, that is plausible. He does have uh, quite a few cards in hand. But can he do so at burst speed is the question. I, we already got one deny out of him. We could we could be dead here. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. I'm gonna lead off with this because this allows me to lethal him. Conflict is all in the mind. Return to us. At this point, it's basically deny or will of Ionia. We know he's uh I don't know how many cards he's generated. He already had quite a few cards in his hand. Yin Yue, you've been 
in my thoughts. Oh, Lee, you always did think too much. My land, Lee, prepare yourself! Grasping claws! The dragon remembers! Not all you left. Come from the dark. Took a wrong turn, didn't you? He's living at the Nye open. I can't really get through here unless if he has another deny, he has it. There's not much more I can do about it, right? I can't technically survive. Yeah, he could always be bluffing. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> if you have a deny, oh okay. Woo, there we go. You cheeky, you. This guy, this guy was cheeky as hell. This guy was cheeky as hell. Why go for Doom when in attack turn? Because I had a Shark Chariot in the graveyard. Well, the graveyard. Uh, I had a Shark Chariot dead, which means that the Ephemeral would drag it out. So I had a good chance of forcing or threatening Lethal with my attack alone. And that's what I wanted to do. Threat lethal with my attack, so my opponent would react to something, tap out, and then I could atrocity for the win. But uh, he he ended up having a solid like he didn't give me the opening right, but I, I still had to go for it. All right, I like apprehend in this matchup a lot. Uh, I also want to keep the uh, the Darius. I'm gonna drop the Nox into Fervor. As as weird as it seems to keep a hand like this. I really, really want to capitalize on on rally effects in this matchup. Curse Keeper is a heart. It's a card that uh, Ezreal Karma hates because. You name it, I'll nick it. Okay, I didn't expect them to have that. That's a little bit annoying. Smells like opportunity. Yoink. Let's see if he has a static shock. Because if he does, I can go for glimpse. And uh, I am most certainly going for this here. I don't want to resort to Glimpse Beyond when it's very easy for him to counter it. I may want to resort to it here though, we'll see. Atrocity. And that, okay. I'm gonna try to play Darius. He could be fishing for a thermal beam here, or he could already have one, but he could be wanting to go for that first, okay? The dragon approaches. 
That's, uh, that's annoying. I thought we were going to have a, a nice clean hit off on him, but that's, that really slows us down. Um, I, I gotta keep working for the level up here. I, I don't want to take any extra damage on, on Thresh. At least not as of now. Don't blink or you'll miss me. I gotta try to level up Thresh, but the odds of him... I mean, what are the odds of him actually killing him? Even though Doom Beast is nice, I'm, I'm gonna try to go for it. Or Noxus! Mine is the hand of Noxus. Even at war, you remain so calm. Would panicking help, brother? Six plus six, twelve, yeah, come on.
We expanding, boys.